Hello fellow coffee botherers, in this video I'm going to be busting the coffee grinding myth. In my opinion, everyone who freshly brews their coffee should be grinding their coffee too. I think most people underestimate the importance of grinding their own coffee while also overestimating the cost and difficulty. If you're watching this thinking you need a big expensive grinder or you specifically need a burr grinder and they're expensive, no you don't. That's a myth that I'm about to bust. I'll start off with the why. Why should everyone grind their own? In my opinion, the most important reason to grind your own coffee is that it's the best way to enjoy the coffee at its prime. Simply because the second beans are ground, they start to go stale at a much faster rate because so much more of the surface area of the coffee bean is exposed to the air. Note that I'm saying the second, not the minute. Literally, as soon as coffee is ground, the rate of oxidization is much faster and the coffee loses its vitality. It just starts to taste sadder and sadder as time goes on in comparison to the freshly ground version of the same coffee. There are of course several other reasons, but I'm not gonna go into them here because I think they all pale into insignificance compared to the most important reason, which is simply that freshly ground coffee tastes better when you brew it. It's that simple. You'll experience that coffee in a much happier state than the sadder, duller, less vibrant coffee that you'll get when it was pre-ground. This is even more important when you're buying speciality coffee pre-ground because generally speaking, this kind of coffee is particularly vibrant and flavoursome, which is why you're spending more money on it. So it's a real shame to experience that kind of coffee in a less vibrant and interesting state simply because you're not grinding it yourself. I think the main reason so many people don't grind their own is that they think grinding their own coffee is much harder and much more expensive than it actually is, which takes us to the next point, how to grind coffee at home. Any way you can, and this includes blade grinders. The only exception to this is with traditional espresso machines. If you're using a traditional semi-auto espresso machine like the Gaggia Classic, Rancilio Silvia, or any of the Sage or Breville machines with standard traditional baskets, not the pressurized or dual wall baskets, then yes, you need an espresso capable grinder. But for all other brew methods, including cafetiere, French press, filter, stove top, and espresso with pressurized baskets, you can grind coffee beans any way you like. There's a misconception when it comes to grinding coffee beans that you have to use a high quality burr grinder or there's no point. My uncle shared a story with me recently which highlights this. I have an uncle Peter, hello uncle Peter, who lives in Belgium. He sent me a video on WhatsApp the other day telling me about an experience he had. I'll let him tell you himself. Good morning. I'm fresh from the market in Murtzel, the local market. And I bought some coffee, got some croissants, all my vegetables for the next few days. Sorry, there's a wasp here. And this coffee I bought is an Antiguan coffee. Good guy at the market. He has some very good stuff. Now, when I bought it, he asked me what kind of a grinder I had. And I said it was one of those ones with a knife, a well-known coffee mate grinder. He said, no, he said, I'll sell you this coffee, but you're gonna f it if you don't grind it with the right things because coffee should be ground like flour. It should be milled and not ground by knives. I'll sell it to you. And by this time he was shouting like most of these market people do. And he says, listen, I'll sell it to you, but it's gonna be f***ed when you drink it. And I can't guarantee you'll have a good cup of f***ing coffee. I says, oh, it's fine. Thank you for your advice. And I'll take it. I said, but if I do drink it and it's awful, I shall flag myself, I shall whip myself with uh, a whip uh, that I might find somewhere and just to punish myself for not following your advice. He didn't seem to find it very uh, particularly amusing. So anyway, I got back and I ground this coffee in the appalling grinder I obviously have, thinking it would taste like <laughs> but it doesn't. It tastes <laughs> delicious. And what this highlights to me is coffee professionals with very developed palates who have to go to the nth degree to please their highly trained taste buds have a tendency to project these same extending standards onto the average coffee drinker. Yes, that guy may be able to tell the difference in the cup that the uneven particle uniformity that a blade grinder will produce versus a semi-decent burr grinder, but when it comes to the normal, everyday coffee drinker, they just won't. 
I consider myself to have a fairly decent palate and I'll do a blind taste test in here with the team on that in the future, but I'm relatively confident that I would struggle to pick up which coffees have been made via a blade grinder versus a burr grinder. Burr grinders are generally easier to use. They have grind settings so you can choose a grind size. They're less messy and they're usually quieter. But if you have a blade grinder and you want to use it, go for it. It's very unlikely that you'll notice a big difference in taste versus using a burr grinder. If you're buying a grinder and you were thinking of buying a blade grinder versus a burr grinder, I would recommend having a look at the burr grinders because some of the cheapest burr grinders are only 20 or 30 quid more than blade grinders. But don't be put off by this myth that you can't grind the coffee yourself unless you buy a burr grinder. If you're on a very tight budget, but you like the sound of burr grinders because they're easier to grind coffee with, which I think they are, just get a manual grinder for about 15 to 20 pounds, get your cordless drill with the right size socket bit, and you have an electric burr grinder. This is how I started out, by the way. I started out using a manual grinder, and eventually I got fed up of doing it manually, and I started using a drill. If you're deciding to spend a bit more money on a burr grinder, just keep in mind that a few of the cheaper electric burr grinders on the market don't have what I'd refer to as proper burrs. Burrs act like teeth, basically, to chew beans into uniform chunks. That's the idea. The likes of the Melita Molino, Krupp's Expert and DeLonghi KG79 have what are referred to as grinding wheels. And instead of chewing the beans into uniform chunks, they mainly crush the beans. And what you tend to end up with is a similar all over the place grind uniform than you'd have with a bladed grinder. The fine, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that if you have one of these you should upgrade it. I know loads of people who have one of these grinders and who love them. I'm just saying that if you're considering buying a burr grinder because you like the idea of the better grind uniformity, you might want to give these a miss and go for a grinder with proper burrs, like the Wilfer Svart, the Gazer MD15, Baratza Encore, Dose Control Pro, Smart Grinder Pro and so on. For more on these grinders, by the way, see this video and also my post on the best grinders at coffeeblog.co.uk forward slash grinders and I'll link to this in the description below. But as I've said, it's fine to grind coffee however you want to. If you want to use a blade grinder or one of the cheaper burr grinders with these grinding wheels, there's nothing wrong with that and in all likelihood you're not going to taste much, if any, difference in the cup. If someone tells you that one of these cheaper burr grinders or a blade grinder is no good, just remind them that for centuries people would grind coffee beans either with big boulders or by thumping them with early pestle and mortar type setups, both of which would produce very similar particle uniformity to blades or these type of blunt grinding wheels. And if that was good enough for people for centuries in the birthplace of coffee, even people who have coffee rituals as part of their everyday lives, it would seem slightly pretentious to suggest that this isn't good enough for us. So there you go, myth busting and history lesson complete. Hopefully after watching this you're convinced that you should be grinding your own coffee beans. It's worth it and it's probably nowhere near as expensive as you thought it was. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to click the like button. A group of jellyfish is called a smack and that has nothing to do with clicking the like button but smack it anyway. Thanks and if you've enjoyed this video why not click here to watch another one and don't forget to become an official coffee botherer you need to click this image around here somewhere of my face to subscribe. Tatty bye!